Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got a little bit of a different unboxing for you today from One Day Saving. Um, they are now offering diamond paintings in different sizes for the same image so that you can have a choice of having it bigger if you want. So I have five of the same image. So what I thought is we'll start with the biggest because then I can layer them on top of each other and you can, you know, we can have a better look at them. I will show you the colours and the diamonds in this first one, uh, but then I won't get out all the diamonds for the others. So, oh, it's two bags in one. I was like... Why is it ripped? It's one bag sneaked over the top of another. So this is the image that I chose. It is a beautiful set of flowers. This first one is a 70 by 50. So it is fairly big. It is square diamonds. So it is a square diamond painting. And this one has 48 colours. Let's check the sizing of the border. So it is 63 by 44. So there is about six, seven centimetres for the borders. So I'm going to take the assumption that that is same across the board. For the, for the style of canvas, but it does come with DMC numbers. Symbols look nice and clear. Uh, there is quite a bit of confetti detail, especially in the middle of the flowers. There's quite a few different colours used on each of the flowers, which is nice. But that is the biggest image that they do. Now you don't always need the biggest image. There is, you know, a slight myth going round that bigger is better. And in quite in some instances, yes it is. Uh, you do get more detail. However, that doesn't mean, even if bigger is better, it doesn't mean anything else below it is bad. Um, you can still get a nice quality image in smaller, depending on the image and I do have some videos on my channel in relation to um, on my main channel in relation to sizes of paintings but this this unboxing is another good way of showcasing um, the different sizes because you can while there's no diamonds on this yet you can quite clearly see especially with the clear cover, the design on this one and the detail. You do get a nice toolkit, by the way. Uh, so it is metal tweezers. They're not the black handled ones, but they are metal. You do get a pen with a grip, multi-placer. You've got another multi-placer, a white tray and wax. Uh, and these are your diamonds. So your diamonds are coming in bags. There is a hefty bag of 310 in this one. That is 310. Uh, 310 symbol is the letter A. So it's all this background up here. But then you do have some gorgeous bright colours. We've got some bright pinks, some bright purples, greens, burgundy, yellow. All beautiful colours to go with it once you've had enough of the black. So for the second one... This is where I hope I don't get the diamonds mixed up. The next one is a 60 by 45. So if we can cover up the one underneath. So you can still clearly see what that one is compared to that one. Yes, there is more detail in that one. But you can still very nicely see what the image is going down to 60 by 45. This one too has 48 different colours. What I want to see, no, 
is does this have oh it does it does oh but the code's the same <laughs> oh it has the size okay that's what i was trying to find cat does the diamond do the diamonds tell me what size canvas it goes towards otherwise that could be very entertaining when i try and roll these back up uh so that's the next size down is 60 by 45 you've still got a beautiful image even compared to going to the more detailed image that is bigger you've still got a gorgeous image then we go down even more. We're going down to a 40 by 50 for this one. You get in it. So going down to 40 by 50, we do go down in the amount of colours on this one. So we go down to 40 different colours for this one but I still think you can see what the image is I'm trying to work out if there's any difference like in detail on the flowers I mean there is you can see that there's more clarity on the bigger one but you can still see what the flowers are what are we looking like when we look at this so there's definitely more detail in this flower over here on this one. So that is that size. Then we go down to number four. We get to open this one a different way. This one is a 40 by 30. So this one is quite a popular size. Quite a bit smaller when you take the border into account. Still a fair chunk of black though. Right, this is where I think you start seeing, albeit still a nice image, quite a bit more of a difference in maybe flower clarity. Especially if you have a look at these white ones, some of these smaller ones, and making a bit more of a difference. However, this is still a nice painting on its own and I wouldn't barf at it, but I do think you get a lot more detail, I say, especially in the white flowers. In the background, you're probably noticing quite a bit more. So the centre of this flower, I think it's a lily, isn't it? You, you can see more in that one than you can in this one. And that's what the bigger image can get you. And then to the smallest, I'm having more trouble getting in it. Finding how to get in it. So for this, oh, for this one, we went down to 30 colours as well. So we did take a drop in colours. For this small one, I feel like the toolkit's bigger than the diamonds. This one is a 30 by 20. Now this one still has 30 colours. Same amount of colours as this one. However, I don't think you're seeing that one anywhere near as clear. You could get away with it if your main focus was just this flower. But I think for you to really see the likes of the bouquet, you're definitely better going bigger. But again, a lot of it is what you want from the painting. And if you hadn't seen the rest, is the first one still nice enough? So just to lean that one up for you, that still looks like a flower in a bouquet, but it's a bit like when you take a photograph and the background is a bit more blurred. Um, so you're seeing more of the main flower on the front but your background flowers are a little bit more blurred. Uh, but it's a nice 30 by 20, which is a nice size if you say wanted to try squares, it was your first square. Um, and you do get a nice amount of colours. You do get 30 colours in this one. So they're bringing as many colours in as they can to get some clarity. Go up to the second one. You're definitely seeing more detail on this red flower but you're not seeing, it's not 
fully blurred in the background but it's not as refined as the bigger ones in my opinion you might get a different look when you're looking at it on a bigger screen or even a smaller screen further away so again now I, I don't think we have any problem with the main front flower you know you do get more detail as you go up but I still think the main front flower are looking nice on pretty much all of these so concentrate your eyes on the flowers in the background because they're the ones that come to life quite a bit more when you get bigger especially this white one I'm thinking definitely comes to life more on the bigger ones and then we have the biggest and you can definitely see that that's supposed to be a lily but even so you've got more detail on many of the others as well so yeah there are many paintings that um, one day saving are starting to do in multiple sizes so whether you prefer to do bigger paintings or smaller paintings you may well be able to find an image that suits you. I will pop a link down below to this image so that you can have a look. And that is the original picture. So that's the original sort of photograph before it's then got turned into diamond paintings. Uh, but yeah, we have 30 colours on these two. The 40 by 50 goes up to 40 colours. And then the 60 by 45 and the 70 by 50 both go up to 48 different colours. So we do get more colours as we go up. Some of the numbers are repeated, some of them aren't. So we have 154 on this one, but not on this one. But we do have it on the other three. Um, I very much found that when I did my comparison on Alice that I actually completed all the paintings um, I found there were some colours that seemed to go throughout and some that you would find you had on one but were not in existence on another I was trying to see if there was a I was trying to see if black was in them all but of course it is because of the background um, if you look at the actual picture that top background is black there's no real denying that. You could potentially turn it to 939, but not very well, because it definitely looks like a solid black. But yeah, there's quite a few different colours that do change. Um, and say some appear in them all. So 799 appears in all these four, but doesn't appear in this one. Uh, so maybe that's where they've substituted it for another one, or maybe ditched that colour. But anyway... That is enough talk about colours on a diamond painting. I'll pop a link down below to this image on one day saving so you can go and have a look. Have a look at the different price differences as well because maybe that will make your decision on which size is a good size for you. Just bear in mind the more detailed the picture, the bigger you know it is, the more you will see. So very much the background flowers are the smaller details and they get better in the bigger sizes however if you have quite a prominent clearer you know less detailed image like the flower at the front you will find that that will turn out quite well across the sizes still again better bigger is better but small is not wrong probably the easiest way I can say it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.